Nifty's AI template generator is a fantastic way to create robust project layouts using only a few keywords. Today, we're going to discuss two great ways to use this AI template generator. So let's start by creating a project. The first way we're going to use our AI template generator is simply by dropping in a couple of easy keywords, something like kitchen renovation. This is a great use case for if you're not entirely sure how you want to lay out your nifty project, let AI make those decisions for you. Okay, so we can see right off the bat here, the lists, statuses, and tasks generated as part of this prompt. Now, a couple of things to note, we can make changes to all this information, but if fundamentally what we're looking at doesn't make sense for our workflow, we can always generate a new preview. You can try changing or adding to the keywords that you used for this prompt, or just try the same prompt again and see that you'll get different results. Okay, so we're breaking out into the lists, statuses, and tasks. Now it's worth noting that in both the statuses and lists sections, we're actually able to edit the tasks of the project, as well as the lists and statuses respectively in these modules. So by clicking into lists, we can see the different groupings of tasks that the AI template generator cooked up for us. Just a refresher, lists are buckets of tasks or phases of our project. In this case, you can see it approach it as phases. So we have each of the phases, and if we hover over it, a little pencil icon appears. So we can go ahead and edit that, uh, that list, give it a description. Now, all the editing we can do in this template editor, we can also do once the project is made. So don't feel obligated to make all of those changes right now. Similarly, we can roll this down to see the individual tasks created as part of the template, and we can make edits to these as well, add descriptions, uh, due dates, assignees, and so on. We can also add entirely new lists that weren't created as part of the specifications through the AI generator. Next, we can review the statuses. Now, as a refresher, statuses are the life cycle of the tasks within our project. So to do, in progress, and review, complete, kind of a common layout. But you might not need all these. You might just need to do and done. Now worth noting is that completed is automatically given to us in every template. You can see we're not even getting the option to edit or delete it. That's because Nifty gives you this completed field by default. When you hit a task, tick mark, say it's done, tasks move to that completed status. So you don't need to put that in or edit it, but we can control the other statuses. Also, we'll note that in most cases, all of the tasks will appear in the top status in this list. That's the same as the furthest left status in your Kanban board. That's because it's common to see these tasks move through these statuses towards completion as your project unfolds. And then lastly, we can click into the individual tasks and subtasks to make edits to them or to create brand new tasks. But if this looks good, we can create our project. Let's call it Kitchen Renovation. And here it is, all of the different lists of our project with the tasks and statuses within them. So list view is going to automatically group by list. So here are those lists we saw before with the statuses appearing here. If we want to see this more status focused, we can go to Kanban, which is going to automatically group by list. I'm sorry, group by status. We can of course change this group by. So if we want to group list view by status, that's something we can absolutely do. If we want to create new statuses or change their order, this is also another opportunity to do so. Same with lists in our list view. We can continue to make edits here. So if I want to add assignees, give more due dates, or do things like share this as a roadmap milestone. Now we'll see this appear in our roadmap. I can continue to make whatever changes I want to this project. If I make customizations following the generation of the template, I should say following the creation of the project after the generation, we'll want to save this as a new template. So getting to this screen automatically saved kitchen re renovation as a template. But if I make further changes, I can also save this as a new template and whatever changes I have made since this project was created will be saved as an additional template. And we'll be able to find that in the 
project templates section of the control center, the workspace control center. You can see, for example, here's a kitchen renovation template that was created just by hitting get started after we generated the template. Okay. So this is the first way to use the AI template generator. A few keywords, we can maybe tamper with those keywords to get the intended result, but Nifty's doing most of the heavy lifting for us. But let's say you know exactly how you want your project to go. Maybe you have, say, an entire spec document, something like this. Well, we can use this to prompt our new project. So you'll see this little expand button. That's because we can actually add a lot of content in here. And now we'll generate our preview with a more robust specification sheet. You can see this is a lot more words than something like kitchen renovation, but that's okay. Nifty AI will make sense of it and organize it for us. And just a reminder, if we don't like the results we get, we can always just hit that generate button again to make sure we have a better feeling for how the distribution of tasks, lists, and statuses look.